Hello, my name is Sura. I am a meditation coach and ambassador for meditation.com. Today, sharing with you three steps to starting your own meditation practice. There are so many different kinds of meditations and it's such a broad topic. It's hard to know sometimes how to get started on your own. And I'd like to share with you some pointers that will help you jumpstart your own practice. And the first is to decide. And it sounds like a really simple thing to do, but this is the one step that most people aren't able to overcome. A lot of people have good intentions to start a meditation practice. They download a meditation app on their iPhone and just like starting a New Year's resolution, we always have this motivation, this energy. We think to ourselves, I should be meditating. I know meditation would benefit me. But it really comes down to making the decision to do it. And when you consciously decide that you're going to start meditating, that's the starting point at which you begin your personal practice. The second thing is to set aside a time each day that you want to meditate. And it just has to be, if you're starting out, a little bit of time, 10 minutes a day, you can start. That's what I suggest for people that are beginning in the practice of meditation. I highly recommend the morning time to meditate because in the morning time, you're still fresh. You haven't engaged with all the chaos and stress of your worldly activities and the mind is still pretty quiet. So it's a good time to capture that time of your day and to utilize that space in your day for, to begin your meditation practice. And it's better to meditate a little bit each day than to try to just meditate once for a longer period of time. So it's better to meditate 10 minutes a day rather than an hour a week. What you want to do is make it into a healthy habit, something you don't have to think about. You just get up, you do it. Just like brushing your teeth, just like taking a shower, you are cleaning the contents of your mind. It's like hitting the reset button for your nervous system, your body, your mind, and just like we take time to brush our teeth each day, it is just as important, if not more important, to practice this spiritual and mental hygiene of clearing out our minds so that we can be more present to everything that we're doing. We can be more focused, clear, and calm throughout the rest of our day. And that's what meditation really helps us to do. So notice what happens when you start your day centered. The third thing that you can do, the third step is to just do it, to meditate. And you don't have to make it into this big thing into your mind. It doesn't have to be a mountain of obligation. Don't make it into that. You can slip into the practice of meditation. You can relax into it. Don't make it into a big deal. The hardest step, anytime somebody's starting a new practice, whether it's a new physical workout regime, um, anything that you're learning for the first time, there'll always be some resistance, some uncertainty, some insecurity, and that's natural. So if you feel that resistance, if you feel like the mind starts to kick in and the ego says, oh, I, it would be better for me to do this. I, I really need to get this done. And it makes everything else more important than your own meditation practice. You just notice it. And what I recommend is relaxing into meditation. It doesn't have to be this hard, obligatory um, thing that we have to do, that we have to check off our list. It's really a privilege and you can start just lying on your back. If you want to begin a meditation practice, you can begin just by laying down and taking a few simple stretches and easing into it. And maybe you don't 
think that you're meditating for those 10 minutes, but you're taking that time out in your day. You're creating that intention to meditate. And I highly recommend that if you are starting a practice, tell a good friend. Tell somebody that you trust that this is something you want to do, that it's important to you. And you know, share it with somebody that really values your well-being and can, in a sense, hold that space for you. Maybe even help you be accountable to your own practice who you could even share the practice with. You could invite someone else, say, I, I'm interested in meditation and would you like to try this with me just for five days just to see how it goes for both of us. And it's like having a workout buddy and you can practice together and it motivates you. And the other tip I'd give is to join a meditation class, practice online meditation. We have online meditation programs and it really helps when you meditate within a community. It helps you to ground your own practice. And if you are going to do that, I suggest that you have your own personal practice together with a community practice. And again, make this a light, joyful experience for yourself. There's no right or wrong way to meditate. Everybody's practice is unique. Everybody has their own experience of meditation. And the key is to just do it. To get started. To have the courage and trust to meditate on your own. Now we'll go through a guided meditation for beginners. It can be for anybody actually, but it's great for beginners if you don't have a context for meditation and how you want to start your own personal practice. This is an experience for you uh, where we will begin by concentrating on our breaths and just counting our breaths backward from 10 to one. And then we'll go into an awareness meditation where we allow the mind to be free. And this will give you an experience of the two most basic types of meditation. One is more of an active practice of meditation because you're engaging the mind. And the other one is a more passive kind of meditation where you're just allowing I, I like to think of them as a masculine and feminine approach to meditation. It always helps to start too with your intention. Why do you want to start a meditation practice? It could be anything. It could be that you want to be healthier. It could be that you want to be a better parent, more present for your family, your children. It could be that you want to cultivate more focus and calm. It could be anything, but when you start with your intention, your inspiration for meditation, it can really help to anchor you in your own personal practice. It, it's like a guide and a motivating force for you to sit every day, because it won't be easy every day, but it'll be very rewarding and very fulfilling. The more you stick with it, the more you'll receive from your practice, and the practice teaches you naturally. Okay, so wherever you are, finding a comfortable place to sit where you won't be disturbed, and perhaps you're listening to this in the background of whatever it is that you're doing, and when you find your comfortable seat, letting your feet be nice and flat on the floor, if you're sitting in a chair, you might be sitting in an easy cross-legged position. And in both cases, your spine is nice and tall. And your shoulders are relaxed down your back. The most important thing is that you feel comfortable. The body will be talking to you when you meditate, it'll want to pull this way and move and squirm. And so we want the body 
to start by being relaxed and comfortable as possible. So just now take a breath, inhale, and exhale, relax your whole body. Feel your entire body relax down towards the ground. And if you like, you can start by closing your eyes, really turning your attention inward, or have your eyes gently open. And today I'm going to guide by keeping my own eyes open so I can stay connected with you. But I encourage you to close your eyes, keep your gaze, your focus inward, and become aware of your inner landscape. See if you can find with your breath as you breathe in and as you breathe out a feeling of softening, a feeling of inner freedom within your body, your heart, your mind, here and now, in this moment. We'll begin by counting our breaths and I'll guide you through this process. Starting from 10, breathing in, breathing out, 10. Breathing in, breathing out fully, nine. Pausing at the bottom of the breath, breathing in, breathing out, eight. Pausing, settling. Breathing in, breathing out, seven. Feeling more stillness. Breathing in, and breathing out, six. Letting your mind focus on the counts and the breaths. Now continuing on your own, breathing in. Counting backwards from five to one. And see if you can stay and just count those breaths on your own. Focusing completely on your breath and on the counts. Good. Finding pause at the bottom of the exhale. Relaxing your body. Allowing your mind to relax into the counts. And release the counting of your breaths and just notice your experience here in this moment.
paying attention to your body. The cadence of your breath. Now we'll turn our meditation towards awareness meditation. Again, becoming fully aware of your inner body. Your feet on the floor. Ankles. Knees. Upper legs. Buttocks. Hips. Lower belly. Back. Chest. Shoulders. Arms. Neck. Head. Face. Inner ears. Behind the eyes. Back of the throat. Being aware of the whole body together. See now if you can observe yourself sitting in the room. Imagine that you can see yourself sitting in the room, opening up the witness perspective. As you witness yourself sitting, notice how you're breathing. Notice with compassionate awareness your breath. Noticing the quality of your in-breath and the quality of your out-breath. Observe your breath without trying to change it, without any judgment. See it exactly the way it is. Let it be exactly the way it is. And notice what that experience is like. this quiet observation of yourself. Become aware now of your emotions and your emotional landscape. How are you feeling right now? Anything and everything is perfectly okay. See if you can open yourself to how you're feeling now. 
in this moment with total acceptance Letting that inner feeling be. Quietly paying attention to your breath, your emotions, And now your mind. Witness now the continuous stream of thoughts moving through your mind. Like clouds in the sky You don't have to attach yourself to your thoughts, to the clouds. You simply allow them to go by. You watch your thoughts go by. Like clouds in the sky. Again, see if you can observe your thoughts without judgment. Just as if you were watching a movie, watch the movie of your mind. Don't attach yourself or resist yourself. Resist your thoughts. Stay centered as you watch your thoughts go by. Now become aware of yourself spiritually. Become aware of yourself as a spirit. What is the quality of your spirit? Your soul essence. You could call this your true self, your inner child, the part of you that is vulnerable and untouched by outside experiences and events, the pure part of yourself. Become aware of your spirit. Imagine breathing in the fullness, the wholeness of your spirit into your body, fully embodied fully grounded here and now. Become aware of the qualities of your spirit. 
the quality of pure peace of joy, the quality of freedom. And with each breath, be open to receiving those qualities. Breathing in, calm, Breathing out, peace. Letting yourself rest in your center. Letting yourself settle into deeper stillness and awareness. And now being fully aware of your environment, of yourself and meditation. Fully aware of yourself in this moment Breathe in and exhale, let go. If you'd like, you can set an intention for the rest of your day. It's always good to set an intention after the practice of meditation. May we all have true peace in our hearts, calm and joy. <laughs>